Is this a hold up? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <sighs> so here we are. We are. And then there is how we see we are. And then, of course, how we see we are is a reflection of a composite. How we see the world also is a reflection of a composite of beliefs, some some knowledge, and some information. But more than anything, I would say welcome to the 2020 apocalypse. Well, don't don't go to the extreme of standing at the edge of a cliff because you hear the word apocalypse. Because in reality, you see, a lot of this that's in today's lecture is let's really hear the definitions. Apocalypse simply means revelation. It means an unveiling. So we certainly live in exciting times, there's no doubt about that. And also interesting, but for those who have been following the truth movement, and I can take in a lot of things, at least over the last 20 years, the current atmosphere of fear and governmental measures being imposed upon us will come as no surprise. What I find more surprising is the rate of compliance, the lack of questioning, the lack of science, and the incredible detrimental effects to the health, well-being, and economy of all people across all cultures. Let that settle in. Here we are in a world where Certain things are being broadcast and brought forward with rapidity. That means continuously. Does that necessarily mean it's true? Well, if nothing else, it means that it's being repeated over and over and over again. Do we hear anything about other considerations? No. So, pay attention. Through these times, we need to be focused not on symptoms, but on the causes and the solutions. I mean, real solutions, which only come from truth. We live in a world where it's become perfectly acceptable for the media, politicians, and corporations to habitually lie and deceive the people that they are supposed to serve and support. The tables have been turned. We have become the public servants. And those who are supposed to be serving have established themselves as self-declared authorities. Pay attention now. Again, I repeat the word apocalypse. To uncover or reveal. And by the way, this comes from the Greek, apocalypsis. Now that you've been satisfied as origins, we can move on. Well, I know how the mind works. If you are entering into a state of, you know, I want to find out more about this, then go to the root of some of the words that are being used and figure out, all right, why is this being used? What does it actually mean? So we are living in an apocalypse right now. So... The word that we often see, and we see it in the Bible. As a matter of fact, it's making reference to the last book of the New Testament, Revelation. Revelation, again, simply means unveiling. So, full disclosure of what was once hidden. Now, look at that. Consider now, what is still hidden that is not wanting to be brought forward? 
So this, this apocalypse occurs when we are suddenly made to see what is going on. It's the, the eye-opener. So, is this, is this the end of a, of a world? Certainly this pandemic has caused our world as we know it to end. There are those who are unconscious of this and are expecting us to return where we left off before this, and that is not going to happen. But look at the positives of this. An apocalypse gives us a chance to think through, think through again and again our social and economical arrangements because all of this is social. All of this is economical. It allows us to turn the mind around in such a way that our behaviors follow along with what our hearts recognize to be true about justice and human flourishing. So now I'll bring in the book. And I see all of you brought yours today, so we're good. And I'm making reference now to the Bible. You see the Bible terms metanoia, and then it has the English word repentance. What do you think of when you hear that word? I asked a few people, and most of it was pretty negative. Hellfire, damnation, mostly hellfire, and then, of course, a lot of damnation. So the actual definition of repent is to perceive afterwards, to be very observant and acutely aware of what's going on. Because you see, when you become acutely aware of what's going on, you're perceiving what has been before us that has caused all of this to come into effect because we allowed it to happen. We believe that those who we put up as our leaders were really for us, and it isn't showing up that way at all. So we're talking about economy here now. And you see, this is one of those things that's still behind, but coming forward more and more. How is this affecting our world economy? Interestingly enough, the Bible reminds us that some economies aren't worth saving. Well, if you look at this one, it's established on debt. Or hadn't you noticed? Okay, just take that into account. So... Are we ready to rethink our agreements? We live in clarifying times if we will put ourselves there and be very observant, acutely aware. So when the term is understood as unveiling, making reference to revelation, we can then ask the, the right question. Does this mean or what does this pandemic unveil? What have we refused to see about ourselves and the precarious world we have built? A little aside here, and just to bring in some science. We are hearing repeatedly as to the destruction that this virus is causing, as if it were worth being called a pandemic. There are different calculations, and one of them that is standard makes reference to worldwide death by cause on a daily basis. Nearly 150,000 over, excuse me, over 150,000 people die per day worldwide. Okay? Let that figure sink into your heads. Over 150,000 a day die. And they have a graph that shows you what kills most people, and then it works down to number 15. 
And there you had COVID-19. And the numbers on a daily basis that that actually amounts to is 2,205. The most that die on a daily basis are from cardiovascular diseases, and that's 48,742. That would be worthy of calling a pandemic, but is it? No. Insert this virus, of which there is known to be 60 varieties, and you see someone standing up as a representative of the world and claiming it, it is a pandemic, and you must abide by these rules. Face masks, social distancing, stay in your place, do not contact others, and none of it is going to prove to be true when actual science is applied. Do you know that when you're breathing that face mask, that you're actually exhaling carbon dioxide, which is supposed to be let loose from the body, not prevented from being let loose and recaptured into the body? Is that doing anything for your health and well-being? Absolutely. It's diminishing it. So this is just to bring a small piece into consideration. And don't take my word for it. Wake up. This is your world as much as it is mine, as much as it is ours. If you just allow yourself to go into a state of complacency and compliance, you're going to allow others who are self-appointed authorities take us down. So, taking all this into consideration, then what are the chances for a habitable and hospitable shared future? close to none if responsibility for the damage remains concealed. Exposure. The light needs to come to this, and it needs to come to this in you, with you, and then through you. So, apocalypse, is it really? I pray to God it is. I pray that humanity heeds the call and chooses to wake up because this is our time to do so. Question everything. Even question what's coming through right now. Don't swallow the fear pill. Demand truth in you, with you and then in your life with regard to what's going on. You see, if you just put it out there and say it's your fault, then you're missing that by agreement you're allowing this to happen unless you're choosing otherwise. So, now that everybody is down and needs a drink, let's go to something a little more positive. <laughs> we... We are the light, expanding, and we're gaining strength in many places in the world. Our radiance and influence is growing, and we are making a positive impact on more lives than ever before. But we must, we must remain heart-centered and soul-focused in the midst of this chaos and fear that's growing and spreading throughout the planet. There are beings of light, angels of love, mercy, healing, who have now joined forces with us in a stronger way. And together, we will be invincible, for we are fulfilling a divine mandate from our Father, Mother, God. Open yourself to realize eternal love, protection, and blessings are ours now and forevermore. Apocalypse now, live it, and it shall be the truth that sets you free. Thank you.